I recently got a request to do another high point video and so I'm going to do that today and uh, this is with my uh, high point model JCP 40 Smith & Wesson and I'm doing it a little bit differently this time in that I just got a new GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition because it was the cheapest cheapest GoPro on the market at the time and might still be and uh, even though it is a black edition so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, I've got it on a chest mount and uh, I've got it in the the standard angle not the wide angle setting so we're gonna see how that works and that's one thing we're doing that's different another thing is I'm going to try some cast bullets in this one but first I'm going to empty what's already in it so which is some uh, hollow points so I'll uh, I'll empty it and then reload it with the cast bullets Okay, so these are some 175 grain semi-wide cutter cast bullets. Well, I can see right now already that there's going to be an issue. Yep. All right. Maybe, maybe once I get the first one started, I mean get the first one chambered, maybe it'll do better. I've never tried these before, but it's one of the reasons that I bought this pistol. Alright, it went in the chamber. Okay, put my ears back on. Put the magazine back in. Almost. It shoots low. So I have to hold it kind of high. It's feeding now. So it was only about the first three, maybe, that it didn't want to feed. Maybe four, I don't know. Anyway, after a few rounds, it started feeding. So, all is not lost. I might be able to uh, adjust the seeding depth of the bullet a little bit and uh, make it work better. So I loaded it back up with some plated bullets and uh, 
I've got one in the spout and the one that's in the spout is a random oh I don't know where it came from flat nose bullet plated or jacketed one or the other probably plated and uh, it was in a uh, a box of empty cases that I had and there was this one loaded round in there so I'm gonna go ahead I loaded it up front and so uh, we're gonna see what it does hopefully it'll be fine one thing about uh, 40 Smith & Wesson and most auto pistol cartridges is it's pretty difficult to put a huge overload in them and a blowback design like this high point is oh um, does a better job of handling that sort of thing anyway than a lock breech so that being said let's try it and see what happens get my ears back on Okay, that was fine. 